All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, Daman, so our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, Wakasal, Lahabakyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect uh, throughout the four corners, wherever you may be. I'm the brother Omar from the branch of GMS uh, Cleveland. Come back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying uh, to the hopeful elect. Um, I'm going to start it off in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 1. And I want to get into uh, two particular words that stood out when you blue letter them. And that word, the, the two words that stood out is wait in Hebrews 12 and 1 and that word run. So I'm going to look those words up to give you more clarity on what, uh, you know, is, is going into. So I'm going to start it off in uh, Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, wherefore, seeing we... Seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do have so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, man. So let's 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 break this down, man. The the race that is set before us is 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 basically us striving uh um for the truth unto uh, unto death. Of us being in this truth, us being called, and um, us, you know, maintaining our faith and our belief in Yahweh Bashim Shah and the promise uh, that He, uh, you know, promised us according to the scriptures, because this is a race. This is a fight. This is this is uh, likened to a fight. It's likened to a race that the scriptures speak about. I believe Paul uh, spoke about those two things in particular. But um, when you look at a fight. All right, uh, you, you know, whether it's boxing or UFC, MMA, whatever, Muay Thai, um, you, you you know, basically you're in it, and you you you're um, you know, you're you're receiving damage. All right, as you as you're in the fight from your opponent, especially if your opponent is tough. In our case, the, our opponent is Satan. You know what I'm saying? And ourselves, because <laughs> you know we sh we're fighting against our our old, the old man that that lies within us. You know what I'm saying? But none, nonetheless, the fight is a, a, the spiritual demon Satan, his physical counterpart. All right. And basically, the, we, uh, we, are at war, we are at war with the world. All right. Because the world is in opposition to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. But nevertheless, we are at, we are in a fight and we are in a race. And the two things that those things have in common is that you have to uh, uh, see both those things out to the end if you're not a quitter. You know, it takes a lot of... Uh, perseverance a lot of um grit you know what i'm saying and a lot of determination and willpower to uh you know prevail through both those uh, things whether you're in a race whether it's a sprint or a marathon in particular a marathon because that exerts a lot more energy or whether you're in a 12 round fight in a boxing match or if you're in a you know five uh, five five minute round um uh a, a, a cage fight you know what i'm saying uh, nonetheless, both those things take a lot of those things I just mentioned to overcome uh, uh, the obstacle that's before you, which is your opponent. You know what I'm saying? Or the or like the finish line. In that case, that would be your opponent. So let me look up uh, the word weight, right? When it says lay aside every weight, when you look up that word uh, weight, it's going to say G3591, Akos, uh, uh, Akos or Egos. Is going to say a mass as bending or bulging by its uh, load, i.e., burden, hindrance, right? So you got to lay aside the burden or the hind, the, whatever is hindering you, or the hindrance um, that's uh, that's that's basically causing you to, uh, you know, uh, not um, a, um, a, 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 a excel or not, uh, you know, perform at at, a high, at your highest level. Because while you're in the troop, you're gonna have things that's just trying to hinder, you, try to that's try to hinder you, or or it's gonna to try to uh, burden you, or it's gonna seem like a burden or a hindrance if you don't one, if you don't notice it, and two, if you do notice it, and you just kind of just like you know, you just letting it, uh, you know, uh, be a hindrance or a burden. You if if you notice it, you have to uh, try to you know get it out the way, or try to avoid it if you can. And try your best uh, to, uh, or or try your best to overcome it. Uh, wh whichever you know situation you're in, you know you gotta apply one, you know one of those things, Lord willing. But uh, in this truth, like I said, you're gonna find that there's gonna be obstacles that the Lord puts in front of you, us 
uh, and he wants us to overcome these things. All right. And that is the uh, the point of the burden or the hindrance. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it's, it's just something that I thought I was like, damn, that's crazy. That's, that's very spiritual that um, that 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 lead that that word weight leads into um, uh, uh, basically a hindrance or uh, or a uh, burden. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to the root word. I just want to see what the root word says. No, it doesn't go into anything. But yeah, so when it says lay aside every weight, it's talking about lay aside every hindrance or burden. You know what I'm saying? So whatever and, and that that links up to uh second edition fourteenth chapter to talk about um about uh basically putting aside the mortal thoughts. All right. So you just gotta be mindful that we are we are in a spiritual battle and we are in a spiritual uh race and uh we know the race is not given to the swift. So you just gotta, you know, pace yourself and uh, you know, try your best to uh, you know, keep that uh that steady pressure, that steady pace, you know what I'm saying? That 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 you're running that or, or that you're fighting fighting that. Anyway, it says lay aside every every weight and, and the sin which do have e so easily beset us, basically like the flesh, you know what I'm saying? It says uh it says and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So now we went to that word weight. Let's go into that word run. All right, it's going to say trickle. All right, it's going to say, um, uh, let me jump down. It's going to say to run a person's in haste of those who run uh, in a race. Course metaphor of doctrine rapidly propagated by a metaphor taken from runners in a race to want to exert oneself, strive hard. To spend one strength in performing or attaining something, all right. So, what should this? What the? What the, those two definitions alone? What should? What should? What should? What should come to mind when it says "strive hard"? I'll, I'll show you, man. And I quoted it earlier, but just in case, uh, Jake missed it. All right. So, rock four and twenty six. Uh, no, not it's not twenty six. All right. So, rock four and twenty eight. It says, "Strive for the truth unto death." Right. It says, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. All right. So, yeah, you got to, the, the definition was to strive hard, right? So, it, when it says, to, uh, uh, you know, to run, what I was going into when it says to run, it's talking about striving hard. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Going hard for you. How about Shemuel Shri? How about Shemuel Shri? So now that links up with Sirach 4 and 28. It says, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. You, you know, and nothing, nothing uh, goes harder than striving for something when you, if you're willing to give your life for it, that shows you that you, you, you know, you, 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 you literally striving hard. You, you giving your all, and you not, you not BSing around. So, all right. So it says to spend one's strength in performing or attaining something. We're spending our strength, our energy, our effort into what attaining the kingdom, man. The elect, the true believers. We want the kingdom, and we won't be satisfied with nothing less, man. All right. It says, word occurs in Greek writings donating to occur extreme peril, which is required, that, which is which it requires the exertion of all one's effort to overcome. And it this this truth, it, it, it requires your effort to overcome what yourself, first and foremost, in this world. You know what I'm saying? And Lord willing, has already written that the uh, that the elect got the victory over the um, Lord willing, we part of that number, should I say. But it is, it is literally already written that the elect gonna get the victory over the beast, man. They're gonna overcome. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord says, "Greater is He that's in you." You know what I'm saying? And they said, "Be a, a good, um, good, uh, good cheer for I've overcome the world." So we already know the Lord overcame the world. He over, over he overcame Satan. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if 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 we put out our number, we're gonna overcome the world and Satan as well. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord has the Spirit within us, man. And the Lord's Spirit is greater than anything. Um, that you can think of, man. So let me get this real quick because it, it mentioned that word strive. It means it, means, it says strive hard, right? So this is Psalm 63, verse 8. It says, My soul falleth hard after thee, thy right hand upholded me, man. So yeah, our our soul, our spirit, it, it follows hard after you. How about Shemel Shah? Why do you think we keep doing this, man? We're going week in, week out, day in, damn near day out. You know what I'm saying? Brothers is going hard for the Lord, man. And then, too, not to mention our bullshit life that we got going on, man, or 
not working nine to five. Some brothers working nine to five and got a family, got to go home, be a father, a husband. All that on top of just preaching a word, man. What do you that 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 shows you the determination, the grit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the resolve of just like how we 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 go hard for the Lord. And Lord willing, how about you? Shall keep that spirit upon us, man? Because it's the hell with this place, man. And 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 the people that 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 want to see this place go on, man. Fuck them, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get into that, man. Um. I don't, I think that was pretty much it. Um, I just wanted, like I said, to bring out that it was on my spirit. I pray it was edifying. With that, I'm gonna give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak with Dash, double honest to the apostles and elders, great millstone and Shalom, Wakasa Lahabakyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect. And with that, I'm saying Shalom.